Hello, hello, hello. So in this video, I'm gonna be talking about how to split MIDI drums into separate tracks. And in this case, I'm gonna be using Easy Drummer today. I did a previous video where I was covering Ugratone drums and just wanna say thanks to everybody who was reaching out about that. Been hearing a lot of good feedback on that. So thank you, I appreciate it. And uh, anyway, let's get into it. So it's actually very similar to my video on Ugratone drums with a couple of differences. So what I wanna do first is just start by creating a software instrument track. So go here and let's see, let's just do empty channel strip for now. Okay, so now going to insert Easy Drummer and just like before I wanna select multi output Okay, so while that's loading up, I'm gonna set up some MIDI. I actually have some ready to go from a previous track here, so we have that. Let's listen to it real quick. Sweet. All right, so, you know, I can change the kit if I want to. I have a bunch of different things I could scroll through, but let's say this is all we have. Um, Let's go to the mixer. Okay, so real simple. All we're gonna do is change the output of each channel strip here to be just a different output. That's it. So this will be one, snare will be two, this will be three, four, five, and so on and so forth. and that's it all right so here we are as you can see have all my outputs laid out and if we go down here you'll notice how there's this plus and minus sign right here so if I hit the plus it's gonna create a track let's hear what that is so Sounds like the snare to me. And the more that I hit this plus sign, the more tracks that are gonna show up based on the outputs that I set up in the Easy Drummer plugin. So let's hear everything. So it should be 12. Um, yeah, I went a little too far there. So, hi-hat. Sounds like overheads. Might be a room. Might be the ambience track that they have there. Yeah, they have a couple of different, you know, uh, overhead mics, you know, ambience mics, room mics. I think they have like a stereo room, and then a mono room, and then like a reverb channel, a separate reverb channel. So it's really cool. All right, but that's basically it. It's literally that simple. You just start by opening up a software instrument track, inserting the plugin, making sure that it is uh, multi outputs, right? So 16 outputs as opposed to just a stereo output. And then you come down here and just hit the plus sign to create as many tracks as you want. You can also roll them back up. But what's cool about this is that you can process each individual track. So yeah, there you have it. I hope that was helpful. Thanks for watching. This is a super quick one today, but if you are interested in going further in depth with this whole concept and just learning about more ways to just program drums that sound realistic with good feel and just understanding the ins and outs. I've actually put together a sample module from a course that I put out recently on drum programming. It just walks through three different points on how to kind of, you know, make the most out of what you've got as far as, you know, working with pre-existing drum grooves all the way up to just creating a beat from scratch. So if you're into that, you can find that at the link in the description below. Thanks for watching.